Hey everybody, it's Gamelon, and welcome back to Let's Play Stella Glow. In the last episode, well, what didn't happen in the last episode at this point? Everything went to hell in a handbasket real quickly there. So, yeah, I'm not gonna lie, towards the end of the last episode, I was actually in tears. Um, Rodolph's sacrifice really did touch me. And knowing that e Klaus is still the reason behind everything, and... Anastasia's death really just hit me where it hurts. I'm not gonna lie, I kinda soft shipped Alto and Anastasia a little bit. They just thought they were just so cute together. And have seeing Alto hold Anastasia like that, that's not how I imagined my ship to go. Oh well. And then it's just, it, it, I'm just an emotional wreck after that entire last episode. But we have to keep pushing forward because, you know, we have a work, to, we have a job to be done. We have to stop this carnage and destruction. So, funny further to do, let us jump in to the start of Chapter 9. Story summary. It was believed that the Anthem would save the world from Hilda's curse. Instead, it, it's the... It heralded a host of angels who swarmed the Regna and slaughtered its people. Oh. Chapter 9. The End of the World. At least as we know it. We only have, we have two mission times in this chapter. Okay. No matter how long it takes, years, centuries, I'll still be there for you. Oh. <sighs> it's already morning. Alto? Marie, did you sleep? A little bit. But I had a scary dream. A dream? Everything that happened yesterday. Her Majesty. All the soldiers. So many dead. <laughs> it was... scary. I couldn't do anything. Try not to think about it anymore. But I'm scared, Alto. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Marie. Why are you apologizing? It was all our fault. Everything was our fault. Her Majesty... Why? She must have cried herself to sleep. Are you in here, Alto? Do you have Marie with you? Lizette. She just fell asleep. I'm glad she's not hurt. Yeah. Were you able to sleep? No. How could I? After everything that's happened. Right. Rusty wants to talk things over. Everyone's gathered in the barracks. I see. <sighs> the view from my window. I can't even describe how horrible it was. Why did this have to happen? Where did we go wrong? I just don't understand. What was it all for? Everything we've done. What about Miss Rosa? The Royal Knights are searching for her. Also, what if... What if my mom is... You can't think that way. She's going to be okay. I'm sorry. No. I'm the one who should be sorry. <clears throat> uh, everybody's waiting for us, right? We should head over.
Everyone. Sorry I'm late. Took you long enough. Our savior, the conductor, just taking it easy, huh? Rusty, don't be so harsh. Well, it looks like we're all here. So, what do you want to talk about? It should be obvious. It's about what we do from here on out. My, my. You've all been like this the entire time. The country is in crisis, while the Ninth is just nice and relaxed. You haven't even seen half of the destruction in the city. Hmm? Ewan and I went to check out the area around the castle earlier. Huh? I was never asked? You think you can act without my permission? I I'm sorry. I, um, I thought we needed information. The royal capital of Lambert has suffered extensive damage. They targeted key facilities. The country's economy is in shambles. The streets were filled with injured, helpless people. The reports say that many were killed in the Angel attacks. Plus all those wounded. I... I can help treat them. No. Marty? Why? We could save so many lives! The citizens believe the witches betrayed them. If we go out now... But we didn't betray them! The ones who did are... My, my. How naive. You've come so far, yet you're still just a child. What are you... When will you realize? This naivete is what allowed that fake commander to manipulate you. The Anthem program was carried out under 9th Regiment supervision, yes? Then the leader of the 9th murders the Queen during the closing ritual? This could only be seen as a rebellion of the 9th Regiment. On top of all that, those angels have invaded. That's right. The angels! Wasn't the Anthem successful? We even dispelled the crystallization! But then, why? Why did those things come down from the sky? The Anthem set off the invasion. It brought about the end of the world. <gasps> you! Bastards! What are you doing here? The rebels have invaded. Call the guards! Wait! Hilda, do you know why all of this happened? It is as I said. The Anthem prompted the destruction of this world. I... I can't believe that. Everything we've done to try and save the world... destroyed it? That's the truth. We were deceived by that scumbag commander from the get-go. You're lying! Still trying to escape reality after all that happened? Hilarious. No! Oh. Hilda, is this true? We cannot undo what has already been done. It has awoken, and we Harbingers must do what we can to fight back. What will you do? <sighs> you cowards. If that's all you have to say, I'll decide for us. Well? Elect a new king and establish a new order to prepare for the next raid. The ruler of the Regnant Kingdom is Queen Anastasia. Only her! That Queen's time has passed, and we have no successor. It's only logical to choose the next candidate from among her vassals. You bastard! Archie! Your words are unforgivable! Whoever mocks her majesty shall... My, my. The only one mocking her here is you. The Queen truly died in vain if her final words fell upon deaf ears. <coughs> How long do you guys plan on just dawdling away in here? The Angels may have retreated for now, but they'll return. We won't be able to fight them off without some kind of leader. What? So you're gonna be our king? Exactly. You're all too busy grieving to be of any use. Silence! I will not take another word out of you! You disrespectful ingrate! I will snap your neck! 
Archie, enough already. Her Majesty is gone. <laughs> Rusty, Archibald, please calm down. <laughs> We're a team. We don't have time to be arguing with each other. Well then, what do you suggest we do, huh? I... Uh... You guys are the worst. How the heck did we lose to these freaking lamos? What did you say? You let that blondie sweet talk, you guys, and then you fight about it? This is surprising to see from what are supposed to be royal knights. I'm going to take a bit of a moment here to explain Dante's stupidity. That's the, here's the thing you don't seem to understand. Klaus was our leader, the person we trusted the most with our own lives. And, on the other hand, we maxed out his affinity as much as we could to see what was his backstory in the Klaus persona. So, this type of reaction is normal. I'm sorry, Dante, if you haven't had someone, you, someone snap your trust in half like that or pulled the rug from out under you. I don't know. I know I'm just talking to a brick wall here, but come on. I don't know. Maybe there's a point. Maybe I'm just, you know, as emotional as everybody else, but let's see. Your commander being a traitor was a miscalculation on our part as well. I don't intend to blame you all for simply being used as his pawns. His pawns? What else would you call it? Don't tell me you're still fawning over that Oedipal asshole. No. Hilda, is this true? Come on, we're done here. These guys are useless. Useless. I wanted to speak with you, but it seems that was a waste of my time. Rodolph bought us this time with his life. It cannot go to waste. <laughs> Dante, Dorothy, let's go. Wait! What? Klaus said I'm Elcrest. Is that true? Hold on. Are you serious? I see no need to answer that. Think about how you'll stay alive first. But... Goodbye. So I think we can all agree. I'll be this group's leader from now on. How can you say something so stupid at a time like this? I believe I made a great compromise by not claiming the throne. That's not the problem here. Then what is? People lacking in ambition don't deserve to lead. Or is there someone else who wants to step up to the plate? <sighs> Wait. Hmm? Just give me a day to check the situation in the city. Alto, don't. We're probably thought of as war criminals in this country. That's all the more reason to help! The city was so lively up until yesterday. Dad? Where are you, Dad? Oh boy, I, I can't read this. Oh boy! The Lion Regiment, they're all traitors! Hell no. I bet those evil witches tricked them. Unforgivable, absolutely unforgivable! Maybe I shouldn't wander around right now. I'll think of the shops I'm more familiar with. Oh boy, I hope Franz is alive. Alto! Bianca, you're okay. I had a stall up in the plaza for the festival. But my products, my stall, everything's burned up. All I have left is this shop and the damaged goods. I'm sorry, we... Don't apologize. Everyone in the city says the Ninth Regiment is to blame for all this. But I don't believe that for a second. Bianca. There's no way, no way that you and your allies would do this. But, stop. Please, just let me believe. I need to believe. <sighs> I'm going to close up my shop for a while. I don't have anything to sell anyway. I'll be, I'll be out helping people driven out by the fire, so... Okay. 
See you, Alto. So we can't buy any goods for a while. Ooh, the tuning hall. Medea, are you okay? Yes, I am unharmed. My hall has sustained some damage, but it's it's still functional. I'm glad to hear that. <sighs> Medea, I was so delighted, so excited to hear the witches sing their ensemble. It blinded me. I was unable to see Klaus's true ambition. I let so many people. This isn't your fault. We're the ones to blame. Let us stop this train of thought. Nothing will come up from us dwelling on the past. Yeah, you're right. What do you plan on doing now? I'm not sure yet. I have only one word of advice for you. If you lose your way, be sure to follow your heart. My heart? Forget your titles. It doesn't matter if, you, if you're a conductor or a royal knight. Trust your own heart, no one else's. I will. Thank you, Medea. I'll be closing the hall for a little while. At least until your little birdies regain their composure. Oh, thanks. Oh, well, boy. <sighs> Can't you see I'm in the middle of... Oh, it's you, Alto. Come on in. Is everything all right? Careful. I fixed up most of it, but there still might be some broken glass lying around. It took me 20 years to collect all that booze, and it's gone. And it was all gone in an instant. Even the special sake I just made for me and the others had just... I'd, I'd been aged 30 years. <laughs> You've been drinking at, at a time like this? Well, to be fair, what else can he do? Cheers to Her Majesty. I'm drinking in honor of all those people who, who ain't with us anymore. It's a cocktail made of stuff that got that got broken. Alto, you should drink... Oh, right, you can't drink. I'm sorry, Ka Kayaj. This is all our fault. <sighs> I don't know what went down, but I know this wasn't what you guys wanted. People and alcohol both go away eventually. This is just... This came so suddenly. Mm. Sorry, but if you're not going to drink, you should get on out of here. I might lose my buzz if I got to deal with a sober guy. I see. Sorry for bothering you. At least the people we know are smart enough to realize we aren't behind this. Oh boy. Here's a, here's a tough one. Good. This place didn't take too much damage. Hey! Is anyone here? Papa? Papa? You're home? Rena, You're safe! Otto? You're... not Papa. Where... where's my Papa? What? Franz isn't back yet? He said he had a delivery to make to the guard quarters. The guard quarters? But that place... collapsed. Is Papa... not coming back? He promised... We'd have strawberry sodas when he got home. <laughs> Franz. No. Let's go check the shelter. He may have gone there. No! I'm staying here! It'll be dangerous for you to be here alone. I said I'm staying! Papa's gonna come home! I know it! The store belongs to me and Papa! But... Papa's coming back, and I'm not leaving until he does! Go away! Go away, stupid Otto! I hate you! I understand. I'm sorry, Rena. Hey! That guy's one of the royal knights! I think I saw him with the witches during that ritual. <laughs> So, you came to inspect? Yes. It was only a little while, but I get what's going on. The royal funeral is complete. Queen Anastasia rests beside her father. She looked... peaceful. Almost as if she were sleeping. I see. Her Majesty never considered herself a worthy ruler. However, she represented nothing but a shining light of hope for Regnant. Working with her these past 20 years, it brought me great joy. Regent. The whole of Lambert is as you see before you. It would be perilous for you to remain here. 
return to the castle. Yes, sir. This sight would bring Her Majesty unimaginable pain. How long do you plan on idling? Hilda. I need more time. I don't know what to say. However, there is no time to delay. The curtain has already been lifted. I know that, but I just don't know what to do. In that case, I'll tell you everything you need to know. Why it turned out like this. What is happening to this world? Gather your comrades and come to Veronica's laboratory. Dr. Veronica? Does she know about what's going on? She knows the whole truth about this divine plaything you call Regnant. What do you mean, the whole... I'll be waiting. We'll be meeting with Veronica tomorrow, huh? Should probably tell someone. Tell Lizette, tell Popo, tell someone else. Uh, let's tell Lizette. There you are. Alto, you look terrible. You should really try and get some sleep. The same goes for you, Lizette. But I just can't fall asleep. I still haven't found my mother. And when I tried to go look for her, Regnant and Elmar stopped me. He said I shouldn't go out because everyone hates us now. I see. I hope my mom's okay, her and everyone else from the village. Why did this happen? What are we supposed to do? I'm going to Dr. Veronica's lab tomorrow. She knows about the incident a thousand years ago, and why is this is happening now. We should all go, go hear what she has to say. Okay, I'll let everyone know. Good night, Alto. Yeah, good night. Hey, Hilda. Let's just ditch those guys. You only need the two of us. I have to agree. Rodolf bought us this time with his life. It cannot go to waste. Isn't that what you said earlier? It seems that the only way to end this tragedy is to kill that thing. And in order to do that, we will need Alto's conductor powers. Who cares about the goddamn conductor? We're strong enough to... This is not within our realm of power. Surely you know that, Dante. Hilda... Fine. Dorothy and I will hunt down the angels ourselves. Try and settle your business before we get killed. All right. Let's head out, stupid bunny. B but Hilda! Go. But... Come on. Hilda, we'll be waiting for you. Come soon. I know. See ya. I'm tired of all this waiting. Elcrest. It's almost time to head over. If I remember correctly, Veronica's lab should be in the forest of the east. I'll depart once I'm ready. Oh boy. Well, we can't really shop anywhere because, um, oh, it's mission time. Yeah, new refinements are available at Franz and Altillier, but how can we go to Franz if his friends never came back? Oh, well, Alto, Rena, your outfit. Papa's gonna come, gonna come home. I'm gonna work until he's back. But no, don't say anything else. You want orbs, right? Here, take a look at Papa's. Wow. Hi. Yeah, to sell our stuff. Um, that's kind of sobering. 
Um. What do you want to make? Do I have any other orbs I need? I don't know what I'm gonna need exactly. Bye -bye. Oh, that's just really painful. I'm just gonna go to Bianca's and just see what type of weapons I can probably get to people. Welcome. You're already open again. Opening my store is all I can do. It won't be like normal, but let me know if there's anything you need. Okay, yeah. Why can't we just take, take time to, you know, to search for, for friends or something? Okay, there's nothing we can actually buy right now. Okay, that's... Okay. That's fine, I guess. We'll buy some stuff later. Hopefully there'll be more stuff we can get later on. But, um, yeah. Let us depart to Veronica's and see what is going on. Yikes, it's very, very... Oof. A battle will happen here, level 27. Well, at least we're about that level, so we should be good to go here. So let's see what's gonna happen here. Veronica's lab, the front part. So, you came. Yeah, where's Dr. Veronica? Most likely awaiting for us in her facility. <laughs> this place is boring as always. Keith, you're late. Is that Brawny Gorilla okay? He's been following us. I'm here. Everyone's ready. Are you sure Dr. Veronica knows the truth of all this? This better not be some kind of trap. What, what, what could Hilda gain at this point for a trap? There, there would be no need to set a trap for you, all in your current state of depression. You little... Please don't fight. Quiet. Ooh. Th that's let's go what just happened i don't know let's see what's going what wait i'm confused what just happened here and next time on let's play stella glow we'll be going forward and seeing what just happened at veronica's place and what we can find out from her exactly about the situation that have transpired here over the last few days if you enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up be sure to check the other parts in the series and let me, just, let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below and as always please keep spoilers to a minimum minimum as we're getting into some very plot heavy stuff and i like to say i would like to say surprise as much as possible and i'd like keep my viewers a surprise as much as possible and as always everyone this is gamma lad signing off